Here's a fun little question. Do you know what Cunningham's Law is? Cunningham's Law is one of my favorite little fun pieces of trivia or tidbits of how social circles work on the internet. Basically, what it states is that when you're on the internet and you want to find the answer to a question, the best way to do so isn't from asking the question, but it's from giving the wrong answer and then having someone come and correct you. It's named after Ward Cunningham, the founder of the first wiki on the internet, since wiki sites like Wikipedia might be the best example of this law, but you can even just take a look at it in very basic questions and see how it might apply. For instance, let's say I go out on Twitter and ask, what shape is the Earth? If I was to do that, you wouldn't really get any sense of urgency in telling me what shape the Earth is. You would probably use the opportunity to make a joke. But if I was to go out and say, I think the Earth is flat, or I think the Earth is a pyramid or something, then you would immediately rush to correct me, call me an idiot, and, uh, and, and be on your way. I mean, maybe not with that question. That's a pretty basic and dumb question to ask. But you guys have been on the internet for a while, right? I'm sure you've seen this happen all over the place, whether you're debunking some crazy conspiracy theory of, like, vaccines cause autism or something insane like that, or you're just rushing to respond to someone that said something wrong that you know the correct answer to because you're well versed in that subject with a hobby like a video game or, or anything of the sort. This typically all stems from a feeling of wanting to be the smartest person in the room, wanting to be able to show off your knowledge and put yourself on a pedestal seeing, look how smart I am compared to how dumb you are because you got this wrong and I have the correct answer, rather than a feeling of wanting to help another person, of, of helping someone out when they have a problem or a question that you could help them with. But anyway, I'm starting today's video off with this because I think it's kind of relevant when it comes to what we're talking about today. Today I want to take a little bit of time to relax and talk to you guys about recent videos that I've been releasing, some, some videos that I've been releasing that are more opinionated and not really talking about facts that are right or wrong, but things that a lot of you guys disagree with. More specifically, I want to take some time to talk to you guys about my recent tank video that I just released and the Camille video and your guys' His response to both of them. You see, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot that still tries to read YouTube comments and get feedback from them. I feel like that's my only way to interact with you guys on YouTube, at least rather than on like Twitter and my stream and whatnot. So I try and read your comments sometimes to, to get feedback and see how you react to a video I upload. And the comments in both of these videos in particular were so frustrating. They were frustrating not because there were some people that disagree with me, but there were people that actually didn't understand the point of either of these videos at all and then wrote me off just because of the title or something. For instance, let's take a look at that Camille video for a second here. My, my video titled Why Camille is Not a Broken Champion or something. What what do you guys think the point of that video was? For real, like pause this video if you have to think about it. What do you think the point, the thesis, the premise, the idea behind that video? What do you think I was trying to communicate when I made that video? Do you think I was trying to say that Camille is not an OP champion? No. Not at all. That's not what I was saying. I say very early into the video that Camille is probably an OP champion and needs nerfs. She needs some She needs some numbers uh, reduced for her damage and shit. I mean, I do say probably because at the time of making that video, Camille had just come out and I wasn't 100% sure because I, I only got to play her for like five games before I started writing that video, right? But to be fair, I, I did say that Camille is an OP champion and that's not what I was trying to argue. Do you think I was trying to argue that Camille doesn't have an overloaded kit? because that's not what I was saying either. I say in the video how she does have a kit that's a lot bigger than most other top laners, a lot bigger than other top laners in her specific class. Her kit is enormous compared to most top laners. I wasn't saying that she doesn't have an overloaded kit in that video. I got, I went very hard into detail talking about many elements of her kit and I wasn't even able to get to all of them because there were too many things to talk about. That was not the point of the video either. The point of that video was to acknowledge that Camille does have an overloaded loaded kit but talk about why Riot decided to give her an overloaded kit and how they tried to balance her and how I thought they did a, a relatively good job balancing her again, except for the numbers, which we saw reduced in the most recent nerf. I mean, that was, I thought that was a pretty interesting thing, right? Riot, it's been forever since Riot gave a champion such a massively overloaded kit that 
I, I don't know. I thought it was an interesting thing to talk about. I thought it was an interesting thing to go in depth on. And, you know, maybe you can disagree with me that Camille's role isn't what I think it is. And she doesn't actually need all the things in the kit. But it was just frustrating to see people not even watch the video and tell me how I'm wrong on something I wasn't even trying to argue. But to be fair, this was the thumbnail that I made for that video. So maybe I deserve a little bit of it. We'll, we'll move on from this one. Let's move on to the tank video, though. What do you guys think? Again, what do you think the point? Point of this video was the thesis or theme or point of this video the point of this video wasn't actually to talk about how overpowered tanks are because for the moment the tanks are actually a little more balanced when it comes to a lot of the nerfs that ride has continuously dropped on them the recent poppy nerfs again as I say in the video the recent poppy nerfs really bought, brought poppy back into line where she's not ban worthy anymore at least the point of this video wasn't to talk about how overpowered tanks are the point of this video was to talk about how the fact that top lane has been in a tank meta where we've seen the same six tanks in rotation for the past four years now. It's been four years since there's been a meta for longer than like a week. The longest we've had a break in a tank meta was when Juggernauts came out and they were OP for a patch and then got nerfed and then it was back to tanks. It's been four years since we've seen something other than a tank meta top lane and I thought that was something that was interesting to talk about. It wasn't me trying to say that, oh, I hate tanks. I wish Riot would buff my class because I don't like playing tanks. I I mean, playing tanks is actually kind of fun because it's 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 easy. It's easy free low, right? I, I don't want to talk about like, oh, you should feel bad if you play tanks. I wanted to talk about how it's a weird anomaly that tanks are th this, this class that's been dominating a lane for four years. The same six champions have been dominating the role for four years in competitive play and in solo queue at a lot of the time. If we were to see the same thing from Juggernauts, if we were to see only four Juggernauts being played top lane for four years, uh, Nasus, Salawi, Darius, and Garen, if we were to see nothing but those four champions, I would make a video on Juggernauts, even though I prefer playing those champions to tanks. If we were to see the same thing from Hybrids, I would make a video on Hybrids hybrids because the point of the video wasn't for me to complain about my own personal investment in in the role or in the lane or whatever it was to talk about this weird anomaly that I just thought was interesting I thought it would be an interesting thing to talk about an interesting subject for a YouTube video but clearly, I did not come off the way that I was trying to come off. You guys can go into the comments of these videos now if you want and just see what I'm talking about, though, when I say it's super frustrating to, to put all these hours into trying to explain my point and not having it come across at all, apparently. I mean, look at this this guy that just posted on my most recent tanks video. Camille isn't inherently OP, makes a video about how tanks are super OP. I'm unsubbing from this hypocritical channel. Is that how I'm coming off to you guys? Is is that what these videos sound like I'm saying to you? I mean, I actually, I, oh, it's, yeah, it's so frustrating. I'm trying my hardest to be interesting and entertaining and talk about things that I think would be kind of interesting to talk about, but I'm just not doing my job as a YouTuber. I hope I'm not, I, I hope I don't sound like I'm talking down to you guys or something. I'm not trying to say uh, how, oh, you guys are idiots for not understanding what I'm talking about. The point of this video is for me to ask you guys, what am I doing wrong? Seriously, what, just what am I doing wrong? Is this how I really am coming across in these YouTube videos? And maybe this is why our channel is struggling, right? I've been super frustrated and kind of scared about how our channel doesn't seem to be doing that well anymore with like subs, losing all the subs and everything. And maybe this is why. Maybe I'm actually just making really bad videos where I'm not explaining what I'm trying to say in a coherent way at all, even though I'm trying to put in all these hours. Uh, maybe I'm just going to go back to releasing less less opinionated, more frequent daily videos, but it's, uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong anymore. Please leave a comment on this video. If you still remember our subreddit or use our subreddit, please leave me something there. I would love to hear how I'm, how I'm failing, how I'm failing you guys. I'm sorry I've been such a broken record lately. If you've watched any of our streams this past week or anything like that, you've heard me give this speech over and over again. I'm, I know this is something I'm, I'm constantly worried about, uh, the channel and everything and not being a good YouTuber. And I'm sure it's getting a little annoying hearing me constantly complain about all this stuff, but I just want to improve. I just want to get good at, at, at being a fucking YouTuber again, man. I really want to get 
better at my job. I think I am going to get back to releasing more relaxed daily videos again, even if I do continue making hopefully more videos that have a little more effort put into them. I'll try and make them a little less controversial. Um, maybe you guys are are just telling me when I'm wrong and I don't see that I'm wrong, like, uh, you know, the Cunningham's Law or whatever, but... Um, I just hope that I can, I can get better at my job again, and I hope you guys still watch. I hope you guys still watch. Thank you for sticking with me if you're still subscribed to the channel and uh, haven't unsubbed yet. Anyway, though, on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. I'll have a new video out for you tomorrow. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day.